thinking this too, because almost all the athletes who come on this platform, we ask them this question, this question because we know it is something that will determine how great the person become in, when they move to that level. But the truth be told, you move from the collegiate level to the professional level. And I can tell you, it is one of the most pivotal points in any athlete's career. How was your transition moving from collegiate into the pros? And what are some of the challenges you face making that transition? The big difference with colleges in Jamaica and the ones overseas is that I can say I was training like that of a professional while attending the University of Technology. So therefore the transition after my four years at UTech was pretty easy because I knew I, I would still be in the, doing the same program and is, you know, I was not training for indoors and then, you know, how I was competing. So I was not really competing like that of a collegiate athlete. I was training like that of a professional and also competing like that also of a pro professional. So the transition I must say was pretty easy because of the training I was doing while attending UTIC. And that is one of the pro, so in my opinion, with the UTIC students that they practice make perfect and they are doing these things over and over and it becomes a part of them. It is said though, Sharon, that, well, I am one of them who believe that Stephen Francis is a genius based on the results that he gets from his athletes. You have been with the club before the big name female like Shelley and Fraser Price and Elaine Thompson era. Based on your experience, what was it like having Stephen Francis as a coach early in your professional years? You know, I have to give thanks that I had Coach Francis as a coach that early in my career. And, you know, all that I've achieved really speak for itself. And all that he is capable of getting an athlete to achieve. I'm very grateful for all that I have accomplished while training with the MVP track club. Coach Francis is an awesome coach. He loves to read. And with, with all the reading that he does, it shows in his training and how his athletes compete and achieve so well. So having him as a coach, not saying that every day it was all good. <laughs> most of the times I must say that I really enjoyed my time training most of the times there at MVP because I knew that he was very knowledgeable. He really knows the sport well. And also, you know, once I'm able to just do the program, I'm able to just follow his instructions, I know that I would be able to accomplish all the goals that I set out to achieve. Mm -hmm. Well, I personally like the fact that you are giving him total credit for what he has done because sometimes on the outside, people make decisions and they don't have a whole lot of information. And I'm not saying that the man is perfect, but it's very weird that you find an, a past athlete would come on and speak so highly of someone who has been great to them in terms of their development, because I'm sure it was not only the physical development, but also the mental development. Because he said it, if you get too comfortable, Sharon, it's not that I have something personal against you but I am going to push you to the limit. Could you give us a bird's eye view into how he would push you to the limit to get you to, to say, you know what, I don't want to come back, but I love what he is doing. Okay. Listen, I, I, as you said, he's someone that pushes you to the limit. And because of his character and the way how he coaches, it really helped me because I like to be pushed because sometimes I can be lackadaisical. 
and with him because you realize with Coach Stephen Francis, he he does not gravitate to the superstars of the Boys and Girls Championships. He knows talent. And once he's, he sees talent and he gets you into his camp, he's going to work hard and pushes you to achieve the highest and to be your best. And that is what he does. At times, yes, you may not want to do it, but you know at the end of the day, once you're able to finish those programs and you're able to just, just, you're able to just listen to him, you will achieve the highest. And I must say that is what most of his athletes do. Once you're able to listen to him and just to work hard, you will achieve because he will put, I mean, don't let the, his exterior, you know, the outside, he is a very, very nice person, someone who you can talk to, you know, most of the times. Mm -hmm. So it's very important that you can, you know, go to him at times and to tell him, you know, things that, you know, bothering you or, you know, just to, to, to help him to guide you in, you know, in your career. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's very important to have a knowledgeable coach and someone at times you can talk to.